how we can use break-even analysis to choose the best location for our new facilities. So let's look at this example. The clean close cleaners is considering four possible sites for its new operation. So between the location A, B, C, and D, we want to know which one is the best location for our new operation using the break-even analysis. So the information we know is the fixed cost and the variable cost of each location. So for the location A, the fixed cost is $350,000. The variable cost is $5. For the location B, the fixed cost is $170,000 and the variable cost is $25. For location C, the fixed cost is $100,000 and the variable cost is $40. Location D, the fixed cost the fixed cost is $250,000 and the variable cost is $20. So what is fixed cost and what is variable cost? So here, of course, our fixed cost is the cost that doesn't change and variable cost is the cost that change. Depends on, uh, in our case here, it depends on how many units, how many garments that you uh, your company clean or it depends on the production quantity so on and so forth so here fixed cost is the cost that doesn't depend on the quantity that you will clean in this case and variable cost here is the cost that depend on the total demand the total quantity that you clean the more garments you clean the more variable cost you have to pay so let's say q is the quantity the company expect to clean so here we can calculate the total cost will equal to the fixed cost the fixed cost plus the variable cost. The variable cost will equal to the unit variable cost multiplied by Q. So the same we can calculate the total cost if we choose the location B for our new operation. So here equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. multiply by Q plus 40 multiply by Q and here is equal to plus 20 multiply by Q. So now we will graph, we will draw a graph that include four lines, the total, the total cost lines of location A, B, C, and D. And we can use Excel for that one. So here I have this table. The quantity runs from 0 to 11,000. And this is a formula how to calculate the total cost when we locate our operation in A. So it's equal to fixed cost uh, plus the variable cost. And so on and so forth. We will uh, fill all the value for this table. And we can draw the graph. We can draw four lines. With the red lines is when we choose location A for our new operation. The gray one is when we choose B. The orange one is when we choose uh, location C. And the blue one is when we choose the location D. 
and here how we can use the break even point or the break even analysis to choose the best location so let's see if the quantity is less than uh, like 4600 here which one will give you the smallest total cost the orange light right so see if you locate your new operation in location C it will give you the smallest cost so if the quantity the total quantity you want to clean in this case is less than 4,600 4, you will choose location C if the quantity is more than 4,600 to 9,000 larger than uh, 4,600 and less than 9,000 gray line here it means B will be the best location and if the quantity is more than 9,000 A will be the best location okay so in this case if they they expect to clean 10,000 garments which location is the best for the company so it's easy to see here the quantity is 10,000 so of course A will be the best location for this case how about if they expect to clean 7,000 so if 7,000 is here and B will be the best location if you don't want to use the graph you want to calculate directly when they ask if they expect to clean 10,000 garments which location is the best for the company so you just need to substitute Q is equal to 10,000 so you can see that When we choose location A, the total cost will be 400,000. When we choose the location B, the total cost will be 420,000. When we choose location C, the total cost will be 500,000. And when we choose the location D, the total cost will be 450,000. So we can see when we will have the smallest total cost when we choose location A for our new operation. and it match with our conclusion when we use this graph here.